Hi and welcome to my channel. I'll be sharing with you today a tutorial that can help you speed up your 3D workflow from 3D mesh to textured mesh using AI. So you can use whatever 3D software you like I'm using Blender. And all I have to do is just make a 3D model. So I made this object quickly. If you want me to show you how I made this object, please put it in the comments below and I'll make a short tutorial about how I model this object. But for now, we'll just focus on how to get this from untextured mesh to this using AI. Let's go. So we're using a free online platform called mesh.ai. I've talked about this in my last tutorial and it's an amazing platform. But today we're about to do like a deep dive, like an advanced, more advanced, like focus on other ways you can use this platform to speed up the workflows of you making 3D meshes and then quickly texturing them, right? So it's a free platform. All you have to do is come in, log in, get a free uh, account and they will give you 200, 200 units every day. It's renewed every day for now. I don't know how long it will last. There's so many things you could do. You can do text to 3D, you can do image to 3D, but today we'll be focusing more on AI texturing. So the meshes, uh, objects I made in, bl in Blender, make sure you, you, you UV and wrap them properly, please. It will help determine how your text or else you're gonna have issues. If you're having issues in your, any, text, any texture you've made on the platform, just go back to your 3D software and UV unwrap whatever mesh you're bringing in and export as FBX. Then you can click go to texturing and then you can see some of the works I've done before, but we're going to be doing something new, a new one. So I'll quickly go to my, to where my 3D objects are. So I spotted them here. We'll start with the firewood, the wood. Now drag this to my browser and it will load immediately. Immediately you will see the objects in the scene. So just a basic shape, uh, nothing much, just a basic shape. And I want to texture it like a burning firewood on it. So I already wrote down some textures and uh, prompt I used uh, on the notepad. I experimented with. So let me first name the project. Let's rename it to firewood. So like I said earlier, um, you get 200 unit credits every day for you to generate with, and it gets renewed every day. Uh, on the bottom here, it takes 15 credits per gen uh, texture generation. So we're going to come here, we're going to name it objects. On the left here, the panel objects, we'll name it firewood still, so firewood. Or bonds firewood, let me call it bonds firewood. Burnt firewood. So once that we've done that, we'll come here, we'll now come to prompt. So yeah. if you in your spare time, you can click on the guidelines. It gives you like a few guidelines how to prompt and what to prompt. Uh, just keep it simple. What's the gist of it all? So you already have the object, just say um, burnt firewood. or detailed, details for detailed bond firewood. That's what I love about it. So, and then there's a negative prompt. Uh, you can see examples there, pretty much examples just work. So we're gonna put, we don't want it to be low quality. So low quality, pretty much everything you don't want, but in the guidelines, you can get more. There are other examples you can use, but this one's just work fine for me. So no point, I don't want it to be low quality, low quality, um, I don't want it to be blurry, so blurry, and um, I don't want unnatural colors, unnatural color, sorry, space, yeah, and we're good to go, so once we're done with that, uh, it's going to ask you for the style, we want it to be realistic, keep it realistic, so click on generate, so we're going to wait for it to queue and come back. So right now, our back is done and it has done its best to give us like a burnt firewood kind of like. So it even added the fire on it, textures. Yeah, something simple, cool. So you can see how it can just take us a basic mesh to textures. And like I said, I re already UV unwrapped in my 3D software, so it kind of helps it, guides it, guides it. I think there's an option where it can create its own UV. I have not tried that yet. So we're done with the firewood. Once you're done with the object you want, we can now hit download. 
I prefer FBX. Take FBX, and it gives you PBR. So you got you have you have the three or four textures that give makes it at least realistic and high quality. So we're done with this. We'll go back. So let's drag in the pot clay pots into the scene. I did a clay pot one. I didn't use that because I had bad UV. I didn't UV unwrap, so I made a clay pot two for better UV, better UV unwrapping. So I'm going to drag clay pot two into the meshy browser and it will load up. One thing about this platform is that it is fast, like it's really fast. You don't have to wait for long. So let's just name the project. Click on this three dots here. Rename, call it clay pot three and sorry, Y and rename. And then you can see the UV is properly unwrapped and even across the board. Yeah. So I already unwrapped it in Blender if I brought it here. And then the next thing to name it was the clay pot uh, or mod pots. It's called the mod pots. And then uh, the style, I'm going to call it um, mod. Pots made of clay. And then we'll go and put negative prompt. And then we'll say um, normal blurry. We don't want it to be blurry. Uh, we don't want it to be low quality. And we don't want it to have unnatural colors. This is, pretty, this is pretty much what I use for negative prompt for now. But like I said earlier, go to the guidelines to get more if you want. And then if we satisfy what we have, because keep it short so the software, the platform can do its job and then just generate another 15 credits. So to wait for it. So, and it's done. And we have mod pots pots made of clay. Uh, just you take this, you can take this. So you can see this is just, this is just cool. Like being an object and you get textured by AI, even the edge is one. This is cool. And the problem is that if you don't like what you're seeing, you can regenerate just to get variation. So I can download this and hit the generate button once more to get another variation, right? So yeah, so you can just keep generating as long as you have enough units to spend. So now we're done with the pot, we've downloaded it. Now it's to go and get the, what do you call it? The stone, the rock we made and bring it in. So let's save this, let's go back. Oh, so your projects are all always here once you finish them. And then let's go and get the stone, the rock, rocks. And then let's drag it to your browser, drop it in here. And the platform will take it and just do the same thing we've been doing for the past two objects. So we've gotten the rock into the scene. Now it's just to name the project like we did earlier and rename, we'll call it rock. Save. And then what's the object? We'll call it stone or rock. No, I think I'll call it rock. Rock. I think I'll call it rock. Stone. And then you can call it, so just say uh, detailed rock. So let's just, this is just fine. And uh, sorry, let's not forget, we have to put the negative prompt. So blurry, I think I saved it. Uh, negative prompt. Yes, I already saved it. So adapt, type it again. And then I'll hit it and I'll see you when it's done. And we are back using text to just generate textures on the web platform. And it gave us a rock, so I think this is fine for us. Like I said, you can keep hitting generate until you get what you like. It's giving us PBR. Uh, we can still go maybe to Photoshop and fix any errors you want to fix if you want to fix some more. But this is giving you like a good base to start, quickly put up a quick scene, maybe in games or like background objects in, in animations. So we're just going to download it too. 
And yeah, and we're good. So I wanted you guys to see like how you use the AI to get a, a sense of what you're trying to see or what you're trying to texture. And that way you at least a good start, place to start. So please like, subscribe, share this page. But if you have a request or something you don't understand in this tutorial, make a request in the comment and I promise I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Can't wait to see you in the next tutorial.